When you buy a used car, you need to know its current condition, including any issues it may have had, plus the amount of miles on it. But what if you couldn't trust what that odometer reads? NBC 15 investigates Elizabeth Wattis learned that in Wisconsin, you can't always do that because some car wholesalers cheating the system. That, according to the Department of Transportation. I've been investigating the situation for more than a year now. I now know in the past four years, the DOT investigated more than 100 million odometer miles rolled back without the buyer knowing. This resulted in millions of dollars in consumer fraud, all linked to these wholesale dealers. But now, a possible solution to protect you. To drive a car in Wisconsin, you need a license, and you have to follow the rules of the road. To sell a car, you need to do that too. Right now in the state, there's concern about a common channel cars are sold through, wholesalers. Wholesalers we found are running their businesses out of buildings like this one, 101 Skyline Drive, Arlington. Believe it or not, records show almost 1,000 wholesalers have offices inside this one building, with more than 450 getting their state licenses revoked for things like unlicensed retail sales and odometer fraud. By law, each wholesaler needs an office, a physical address. And the photos showing the inside of 101 Skyline Drive given to us by the state, those raise questions. It doesn't have a ceiling. <laughs> which is kind of bizarre. And there are empty cubicles that have, it must be the license number pinned on to the um, cubicle itself, but there's, you can tell no one's been in these facilities. NBC 15 investigates put the pieces together and learned a company called US Dealer Licensing runs out of year two. It sells licenses to wholesalers and provides them with this so-called office space. No one's accusing the licensing company of fraud, but lawmakers like Representative Sue Conley of Janesville say its business model opens the door to shady wholesaler business practices. It's an address that they can use on an application, but it's not actually a place of business. But right now, this is legal. It is. It doesn't make any sense. The state's Department of Transportation investigates all complaints against wholesalers, including that odometer fraud. Because so many licenses have been revoked out of Skyline Drive, investigators now do weekly in-person checks, costing taxpayers more than $64,000 last year. DOT has found a lot of increases in fraud in that they, you know, roll back the odometers and then sell these vehicles to retailers who then sell them to consumers. Since 2019, the DOT has found wholesalers have rolled back more than 155 million miles on cars in Wisconsin alone. That's enough fraudulent miles to drive around the world 6,238 times, resulting in an estimated $9.3 million in consumer damages. And it's really just to make money. Hey, are you guys U.S. dealer licensing? NBC 15 Investigates wanted to find out from U.S. Dealer Licensing if these wholesalers ever step foot in the building at all and why so many licenses are being revoked. My name is Elizabeth. I'm with Channel 15. We were greeted by three separate workers. Our drone, not the only thing in the air, as this worker went back inside with a certain middle finger raised to the sky. A different employee referred us to their boss, who that worker said was out of the state. I mean, yeah, I, I can't comment. I have my opinions, but I can't comment. <laughs> okay. The owner of U.S. Dealer Licensing never called. <laughs> so we tried calling him. Okay. That didn't work. The two separate numbers listed. The number you have reached has been disconnected or is no longer in service. A road to nowhere. That didn't work either. Representative Conley says more regulations are needed to stop companies from coming to the Badger State to set up shops like this one. These companies are perpetrating fraud against consumers. And any time that we find that in our state, we have to do everything we can to prevent it from continuing. That's why she's co-sponsoring a bipartisan bill in the Assembly and Senate to redefine what counts as a wholesaler office. It really is to try to tamp down wholesalers that are not being... Uh, above board. Hoping amending the licensing rules protects drivers down the road.
So if the new bill becomes law, only one licensed wholesaler could be under the same roof, offices could not be rented by the hour or day, and cubicles would not be allowed either. Again, it's all to prevent this kind of situation from happening again, which in turn, lawmakers think will reduce that odometer fraud. The bill will be discussed in the Transportation Committee tomorrow morning. In the studio, Elizabeth Wattis, NBC 15 Investigates. Now, this problem isn't unique to Wisconsin. The DOT says illegal wholesale dealer activity has affected businesses and customers in 15 different states. Indiana stopped issuing wholesaler licenses completely back in 2015. The state of Washington eliminated theirs in 2017.